product is data management. Because the point of all of this stuff is to either capture or analyze or utilize data. Turn data into information, turn information into knowledge to drive action. Classic thing, right? All right, so one of the things that we're going to do substantially this year going into next year is new and improved software. Why? Because we have to have more capability than we do. And you're about to see why. Of course, there's the standard stuff with field maps. When we think precision farming, everybody thinks maps, right? Well, it's really a geo-reference database. You've got a piece of data, and it happens to know where it came from on the face of the earth. And it can be yield maps, it can be tile lines, it can be swamps, whatever. You can develop prescriptions, you can play with the different data between the layers. But we, we start with this baseline of field maps. And if you look at the baseline of our new software, AFS View is that baseline. It lets you look at maps, it lets you look at data. And you can customize the data fields, you can customize farms, you can customize fields, you can customize the customers or inputs to those fields and so on. And you can run summary reports, you can then go from there. But this is kind of the baseline, it's the front end, look into it. The core, the heart of the mapping and record keeping part of the software is AFS mapping and records, very straightforward. Now we happen to have a yield map shown here, and you can do single year yield maps, you can do multi-year yield maps, this happens to be a normalized map, where you can compare yields against a certain norm, against a certain baseline. In this case, it's pretty obvious to see which parts of the field are yielding above the baseline. Part of that mapping and records is profit mapping. Because when we look at mapping and records, one of the old-fashioned ways to think about maps is that it was just agronomic data, that somehow it was separate from financial data. No, uh-uh, it's all the same. If we put some fertilizer in a particular place, it cost us a certain amount of money. If we varied a planting population from 28,000 to 42,000 across a field, we were also varying how much money we spent. So going forward, when we look at data management, yes, it's agronomic data, but it is integrated in one and the same with the financial data. So when we talk about profit mapping, if you look at a crop layer as a business, as a segment of the business, I grew corn in this field this year, and I want to do all the analysis on that corn crop in this field this year, I need access to all the financial data to do that and it is integrated. It's all there together, so you can do this on a financial basis. If we look at this mapping and records piece, it lets you keep field records, and then the second point is really about the financial side. You can do costing. You put how much fertilizer where, and how much did it cost, and how much yield did I get, and you can now start to do the what ifs between, wait a minute, that's a high yield spot that I didn't put fertilizer on, or vice versa. I put a lot of fertilizer on and I didn't get a yield. Well, that's an obvious one, but you can imagine those possibilities. That's really the software suite in a desktop setting, in more of a traditional desktop setting. But if we look at what's going to happen, it is already started now, and it's going to dramatically change in the next two to three years. The concept of the desktop software is going to radically change, just as it has in more of the consumer computer world. I see some of you are writing on a notebook. I see some of you are typing on a laptop. And yet in today's world, there's all kinds of mobile-enabled platforms, right? I could have an iPhone, I could have an iPad, and we're kind of in the middle of a transition in some of those technologies. The same thing is happening here. As we develop more and more communications capabilities between the machine and remote reporting and linkages between the two, 
then the concept of desktop software is just one more portal. It's just a portal into a web-enabled database. And that really is the future of telematics. Telematics is not that big a deal. Telematics is just talking to somebody. We already have all the stuff in the machine. It's already all electronically controlled, reported. And anything that's in that machine, now it's just a communication interface. We've got to have a database on the backside, on the website, in a cloud server somewhere, that you can now take a portal and get to. That's the core of where telematics is, and that's going to explode over the next couple, two, three years. Kind of the base level is fleet management. Where's the machine? And this is a screenshot from our telematics system that just tells you, you can see the ground, you can see the farms, and you can see where the machines are located. We're going to talk a little bit more specifically and give you some, some really hands-on. It's really just geo-reporting where that machine is sitting. Well, when we talk about geo-reporting, we can also geo-fence. If I have a tractor in a field, and it's supposed to be in that field, either working or sitting, I kind of don't want it to go to the field next door. Well, maybe I shouldn't use a tractor. Maybe I should use a sprayer. Why would I want to do that? Well, if the sprayer is loaded with Roundup, and the field next door is not Roundup ready, maybe I don't want it to leave the Roundup field. Easy one, right? So we can geofence. We can say, okay, the machine is there, and oh, by the way, it can't go outside this boundary. Fairly simple, basic fleet management stuff. We're going to give you some really hands-on stuff, and there is more coming, and we'll come back to that. But for this portion, what I want to do is really come back to the core pieces of AFS. The two core principles, integrated and supported. AFS is precision farming technology integrated on our machines and supported by the entire Case IH team of experts. Those are the thoughts that we want you to take away. That's what we want you to know about the AFS business. But now we're going to get into that more hands-on piece. And yes, we've had to adapt a little bit given the weather, so bear with us. But if we think about telematics, we really are talking about communications from vehicle to a central server to a portal. And that's what this graphic is designed to show. And the key, just like we talked about here, the key is how good is the communication link. The key is the machine's got to be able to talk to that portal somehow to give you good data. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Emily Troy over here who is with AFS Marketing and she's going to do a hands-on session which is now inside instead of outside ride and drive, but it'll work. So with that, Emily. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to combine leading industry hardware and that software that you saw with those screenshots that Bill just showed. Here we have a telematics unit hooked up to our scout. It requires two main pieces of hardware. This modem that you see right here, along with the antenna. Now oftentimes with technology, we think of an antenna as something that we need to, that sticks up from a vehicle. With this integrated technology, our antenna is this box. This is the antenna we use. Within this antenna, we have two receivers. We have our GPS receiver and our cellular receiver. So when it receives that GPS signal, it is sending that via cellular communication. So those are those two main pieces of hardware that we use to integrate AFS Connect and provide, provide those capabilities for our customers. Bill mentioned a few of those. That's security. We are able to use geofencing to track where the vehicles are at. We're able to see the vehicle's current location through AFS Connect along with the history of that. It also provides our customers with the ability to utilize and maximize those engine hours along with utilizing the location and tracking those vehicles. Bill gave that a really good example of Roundup before. So what we have here, we have a Silver Anniversary tractor also 
what we want to show in that, that there's multiple vehicles around the grounds here that are hooked up with telematics units. We brought in this tractor to show less complexity. When you hop into that cab of that tractor, you're probably going to say, I'm late. Now I thought you told me there was a telematics unit in this vehicle. You're not going to notice unless you look, the modem is actually behind the seat. So if someone were just to hop in the cab of that tractor, that less, less complexity. They won't even notice it was there. It's easily integrated into that vehicle. When a customer logs in to our AMS Connect site, they're brought to the Maps page. This is a screenshot that I took earlier today. That quad track that was out in the field earlier today. This is the location. You can see when the customer logs in to the portal, they are able to see the locations of the vehicles in their fleet. This is where we are today. The building up there in the top left hand screen, that's where we are right now. This shows that our customers are able to see the locations of their vehicles. Also from this screen, they're able to tell if their vehicle is currently on or off, which allows them to maximize their decisions and utilizing their equipment. So the blue indicates that the vehicle is on. That quad track was on when that GPS point was sent back to our account. The gray indicates that even we don't need our vehicles to be running to receive GPS locations on them. Even though our vehicles may not be running, it sends back those GPS locations. So our producers are able to get locations on their vehicles at all times, which provides them with that additional security. Also, not only can they see their current locations, they can also see the history of their vehicles. This is also a current screenshot. This is where that scout has been today, that you just saw, back there. This shows all the GPS locations that were sent from that modem you just saw on that scout back to our AFS portal here. Once again, we have the same coordinating colors. The blue dots indicate that that GPS point was sent back to the site when the vehicle was running. The gray dots represent that those GPS points were sent when the vehicle was off. So our customers are able to track the location and the history of where that vehicle has been to make sure that they are maximizing the use of that vehicle. They can also monitor engine hours through AFS Connect. <laughs>